student in this video we will discuss problem related with the mixture it is advised to the student that uh, to expertise to get expertise on this topic a lot of practice is required uh, the properties of components of the mixture and what kind of reaction they can perform uh, it is required to learn for for example heating effect of carbonates nitrate sulfate oxalate it is to be learned so to get the expertise a lot of reactions is to be learned and property also for example and uh, we will deal the problems related with the mixture by using the application of mole concepts so let's start with the first example that 4 gram of a mixture of calcium carbonate and sand is treated with an excess of hydrochloric acid and 0.88 gram of co2 is produced what is the percentage of calcium carbonate in the original mixture so according to the question we have two component calcium carbonate plus sio2 in this mixture and the mass of this mixture is 4 gram and this mixture is treated with the hcl so we must know about that this mixture that what component will react with the hcl and uh, uh, we have to write the respective chemical reactions so as we are using the application of mole concept to solve uh, the mic problems related with the mixture so first we will find the number of moles of co2 the number of moles of co2 will be equal to 0.88 divided by 44 this will give 0.02 moles so the 4 gram is the uh, mass of mixture so let's x gram calcium carbonate is present in the mixture so 4 minus x gram will be the amount of cal uh, sio2 that will be present in the mixture obviously calcium carbonate react with hcl but sio2 not so we will write the balance chemical reaction with respect to calcium carbonate and hcl so caco3 plus 2 hcl this will give csl2 plus co2 plus h2 l So this is a balanced chemical reaction, and according to the stoichiometry, uh, obviously one mole of calcium carbonate, one mole of calcium carbonate will give one mole of CO2. So definitely, with respect to the amount of CO2 liberated, we can find the moles of calcium carbonate which is reacted with HCl. So one mole of CO2 is obtained from one mole of CaCO3. So definitely 0.02 moles of CO2 will be obtained from 0.02 moles of calcium carbonate. So with respect to 0.02 moles of CO2, the amount of calcium carbonate is 0.02 that can be converted into the mass by multiplying it by by molecular mass. This will give two gram. So the two gram of calcium carbonate is present in this mixture. So obviously, four minus x that will be the two gram of SiO2 will be present in this mixture. So simply we can find the percentage of calcium carbonate that will be two upon four into hundred. So fifty percent by mass of calcium carbonate will be present in this mixture. We can take one more example to explain the problem related with the mixture. a 44 gram sample of natural gas consisting of methane and ethylene c2h4 was burned in the excess of oxygen yielding 132 gram of co2 and some h2 as a products what percentage of sample was ethylene so definitely according to the given question the natural gas mixture contains methane and ethylene which is c2h4 and the amount of the mixture is given as 44 g and it is obvious that both of the component will undergo the combustion reaction and 132 g of co2 will be obtained 
so 132 gram of co2 means the moles of co2 that will be equal to 132 divided by 44 this will give 3 moles of co2 so on combustion of this gases mixture 3 moles of co2 you will obtain so according to the application of mole concept both of the component as react with the oxygen or undergo combustion first we will write the balanced chemical reaction with respect to each ch4g plus 2o2g this will give co2g plus 2h2ol and c2h4g plus o2g this will give 2co2g plus 2h2ol now let's suppose the moles of a in this moles of methane in this gases mixture is a and the moles of ethylene in this gases mixture is b so a and b are moles of methane and ethylene respectively in this gases mixture so we can we can write the equation uh, with respect to this given data like 16a plus 28b that is equal to 44 gram this will be your first equation we have put the mass equal to mass the mass of methane plus mass of methylene that is equal to the total mass of mixture so obviously with respect to the methane one mole of methane will give one, uh, one mole of co2 so a mole of methane will give a mole of co2 in the same way one mole of ethylene will produce two moles of co2 so b mole of ethylene will produce 2b moles of co2 so we can write that moles of co2 produced that will be equal to a plus 2b and definitely this will be equal to the 3 moles and this will be the equation number 2 on solving equation number 1 and equation number 2 you will get a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 so we can say that in the mixture percentage of ethylene by moles by moles will be half into 100 that is will that will be equal to 50 percent that will be equal to 50 percent